Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, and guess who this is? Introduce yourself. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was sleeping, I woke up, and I'm, I'm, I'm with Brother Luke. <clears throat> My name's Mitch. I don't know how I got here. Please help. <laughs> well, Brother Mitch, is uh, his YouTube channel is uh, Mitchell Blankoff, and you've seen him on uh, the CES programs with me, and uh, guess what? He's come from Idaho, to Las Vegas, and we finally got to uh, embrace and then see each other face to face, and it's wonderful. I'm yes, very, I'm very uh, happy. It's been many years. I've never seen him. Now that now now that I have, I don't know. I'm... Yeah, now that now that he's, he's actually talked to my wife, and my wife told him some stories. He probably he might not want to even associate with me anymore. Well, what happened was uh, it's brother Luke exposed. I have the exclusive because I've spoken with his wife personally. And me and my wife sat down, and she told me the whole thing. Yeah, I should. Have, I, it was my mistake. I should have never let my wife to enter the same room with them. She came in. She was very anxious to to, to expose my brother here. Yeah, he needs help. <laughs> but it's uh, been many years now that uh, we've known each other here on YouTube, uh, and I'm I'm very grateful that YouTube exists and this technology exists so that we could you know spend all mm -hmm. this. We spend many hours, uh, to, and also many hours privately talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. And uh, over the years, um, many people have uh, said, hey, I, I want to like to come to visit in Vegas and say, meet you. And, and uh, it's, hey, it finally happened, brother. I'm right. I, I actually, by, I think it, it was divine providence, and somehow or another I wound up here. But me and my wife took a trip. I've been driving for days, hence the beard. You know, <laughs> but but uh, um, it was really nice to come down here and to actually finally get a chance to, to, to talk to you face to face. It's a real pleasure. It really is. Yeah. Well, uh, you, you can look forward to uh, seeing Mitch more. I hope you all, uh, if you haven't already done it, uh, go to his YouTube channel. I think he's he's been talking about it. He just needs to get inspired. Uh, but he, he's got a lot of things to, to say and and. Uh, He's made a lot of videos in the past, and he, he's got a lot more in that he, he would like to say, <laughs> especially on our favorite subject, uh, the book of James, which he's the culprit that, that led me out of the conventional view into the, the true understanding of the book of James. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not Brother Luke's fault. It's mine. That's right. I am the culprit. I'm the one. And if it wasn't for me, he wouldn't have been corrupted. Yeah. So... Um, but I had been reading, um, I don't know, I'm a very skeptical person. And even when I read some, something like the, 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 the scriptures themselves, I, I, what do I do? I, I analyze, I, I, um, I tear them apart. And I got to this point where I, I, I was just taking a look at this guy, James, and a asking myself some questions about how he doesn't actually agree so much with Paul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, uh, one of the things that uh, I'm grateful for is I'm, I'm not really so grateful of, of being uh, holding this view on James because I it, it causes we me a lot of grief, it. a lot of flack we get, but I, I am convinced that it is the correct understanding. And uh, so I, I do, we have a saying, uh, we seek truth over orthodoxy. So whatever the orthodox position, the the majority or traditional position on theology is uh, we, we, we need to be willing to listen because uh, the majority position is not always right. And so uh, Mitch and I had a lot of conversations. I think it took about a year uh, talking on the phone back and forth uh, uh, before uh, he won me over to this side. And But the only reason that kind of conversation could continue on like that is because the 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 attitude it was 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 a, was a, it was a friendly cordial conversation instead of get people getting in the flesh and getting ugly just because we disagreed. You know that's uh, that's a beautiful uh, that's 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 exactly what happened. We came to a conclusion because we had a friendly conversation over the phone, and we talked about this a lot, and of course. Me holding this view, it's possible that I might be lost in this knowledge, not not understanding that it, there's a possibility that I might be 
confused and might possibly lose my salvation or who knows what will happen to me if I espouse this view. So in order to save me <laughs> to a certain degree, you all of a sudden, and I think everybody out there would have their antennas up and go, well, wait a minute, let me start to, to help this brother to understand maybe where he might be wrong about this, or maybe possibly let's take a view of this and say, possibly there might be some credence or there might be something relevant here mm -hmm. that might actually be, might actually uh, turn, turn the tables. So it's not like, like you came at this from a, a receptive point of view, but you did come at this with a friendly point of view, with a friendly demeanor mm -hmm. towards my point of view. And we talked and we went back and forth point for point. And over time, the preponderance of evidence mounted up. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, that's when there was an existential crisis, I think, mm -hmm. uh, to a certain degree. But then after, after we come to this conclusion, after a year of talking about all of this, sooner or later, it got kind of exposed that, mm -hmm. you know, we started making videos on this and um, a lot of people didn't like, you know, the idea that there's a possibility that James, the book of James, a lot of people were saying, well, it doesn't belong in the Bible then. It shouldn't be, uh, uh, you know, canonical. And my view is, is that absolutely it should be in the Bible because without it, you wouldn't be able to see what was going on between the apostles, Paul, between Peter, Paul, James, and even John. Mm hmm at the time and and what was happening in the Jerusalem church and it's a lot of, so we've we've got our flack for it and you know whatever but but it, it caused the problem that that caused a rift that YouTube will never forget <laughs> mm. and but but then uh, over the time and over the years um, you know it's really good that we kind of reconciled mm -hmm. came back together with this whole thing and uh, and and now we kind of come full circle and here we are. I mean, this is uh, this is the first time ever meeting. I'll we'll go this way. So I got the camera. <laughs> yeah, <it's> backwards. <laughs> um, and and uh, I'm just tickled and overjoyed, as you really am. Yeah, and of course we we, we were we're referring to the the question of, of it's about the Book of James, but we're kind of dancing around it. So for all the details, you, it's all it's all there for your your uh, consideration. Uh, on my uh, channel, Brother Luke, and the, the title of that playlist is James and Paul, The Shocking Facts. So uh, check that out if you want, but that's not really why we made this video, but uh, I just want everybody to, to see, hey. Uh, this is our background. Uh, w w this, he, look, look at this. I'm He's in the here. flesh. He's here. He, I'm, he's real. I'm, and I'm, me, am I real? Yes. Yeah. You're there. We were, I can tell we, you. He confirmed it, that it's, this is not I wasn't so sure. I thought he was possibly a bot yeah. on the internet. <laughs> But now I can see that he's he's. What is it called when it's a new, different reality? That new thing. Virtual reality. Yeah. The, see, we're not virtual reality characters. They're, this is the true realities that we really are. As here. far as you know. <laughs> that's right. As far as they know. All right. Well, I. Um, that's it. We just wanted to well, take the opportunity while we're actually here together in the same room under the same roof, just to uh, make a video together and say say hi. So, Mitch. Thank you very much. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, and we'll see you soon. Amen. Amen. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.